Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. We are here in the shipyard. Hey man, come over here. And we've got somebody right in our face over there to do a mission for. Andrew Reynolds. Hey, I just got this line, man. Let's see what you got. Things get a little more complicated now. Uh, partly because this is a very cluttered level, a very garbagey, a lot of crap all over the place for you to catch on to. And I messed that one up. I have trouble with this because you have to... I don't know if you can see it, but I'm grinding on the edge of this trailer. I'll just show it like this. You grind on that edge of the trailer, and it goes up, and then you catch on the edge of this trailer. You need to jump over and grind onto that ramp. And it just... It's really fast timing, at least the way I'm doing it. Or not doing it, as the case may be. There we go. And I totally missed jumping over to the B. Don't worry, this is gonna go quick now that I'm getting used to it again. This kid is there we sick, go. Man. It's some of those things where you need the real fast uh, response. A little, a little slow. We've maxed out all these stats that I felt were important, and these I would say are equally important now at this point, but I'm going to be focusing on lip balance for one of the missions in this level. We have somebody over here. Looks like the dogs are feeling ornery. Must be that hot sun that drives them crazy. Better get to those bones before they get to you. This mission, it's... If you're really good, like I'm not, this isn't too hard, but you see that two seconds? You, you have two seconds to get to each bone, and you go around in a line, as usual, and get all the bones while these dogs chase you. There we go. We thought they had you. Those dogs were nipping at your heels. Good job. Could be worse, but could also be a lot better. That brought us over here, and let me see. Here's Stupid. Bucky Lassick. All right, sucker. I got a bet going with the crane operator. See if you can spine transfer all the way down to three hanging containers over there. When you get to the third one, I'm going to spin it all around on you. Try to stay with it while they move, then come all the way back. So, okay. so this gives you, despite the text in the way, you can kind of get a good look at what this shipyard looks like. Uh, you got big water pits in the middle to jump over. You got shipping containers, cranes. I wouldn't say it's as the height is as emphasized as it is in Alcatraz, but you do have some missions that take you up into the air, like this one. And all you have to do is make sure your R2 button works as you go between these shipping containers. It spins around all fancy-like, but it doesn't mean anything. You're just doing the exact same thing you just did. They are lined up differently. They're not straight. You go down. And I think that might actually make it easier, because you get a lot more speed and height. Nice, 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 nice. Good job. Really easy mission to do. And let's see who's over here. Foreman. 
I need to get those freight containers inventory. If you help me out, I'll uh, throw some money your way. All you have to do is trick on each container to mark it. What do you say? If you ever played graffiti mode in multiplayer in the previous games, this is a lot like that. You do a trick on a set piece and it paints it in your color. And I need to do that on all of the shipping containers here to mark all of them. I think there's 26, 21, even better. It can be a little difficult to keep track of which ones you've marked and which ones you haven't. But we do have two minutes. Not that I should be too cocky about something like that. But you don't have to do any fancy tricks, you just have to make sure you get tricks done on all of them. that you don't really have too many options for. It's just, if you you have the ramp there, that counts, like I had just done. Um, let me see if I can... So I'm being pretty slow with this, and I need to not be slow. Because I've only got so much time left. Hold on. Son, there's no career in those extreme sports. Come to work here, and in 50 years, you'll get great retirement benefits. <laughs> Back over the side. Boss man told me to polish the bell on that buoy. I've seen you flying around here, so I'm sure it wouldn't be no problem for you. Can you help me out? Five grinds of the bell ought to do it. Somebody's doing their best grown-up Cartman impersonation. This one is also really embarrassingly easy. You need to just kiss the rail on top of that bell five times. Only thing that you have to worry about is the bell, it rocks back and forth, left and right, so you might not be lined up with it each time, and you just have to adjust your skater as needed. Now you're not looking for a job, are you? And who else we got, huh? I see you over here. Is Andrew Reynolds again? Yep. Hey, you got skills, man. Let's see if you can do this next line I'm working on. I think this is the first level that's given us two combo missions. And this one is a little more complicated. Jump too late on that one. It's a pretty long line. Uh, it has you doing all kinds of different things. And that was not at, I didn't get the uh, spine transfer on that, so I was kind of screwed. Uh, doesn't take much to jump too late. There's that spine transfer I wanted. No, that was sick, man. Good job. And who do we have over here? I totally missed that rope. I disoriented and I don't know where I landed. Anyway. Let's try... Yeah, let's do this one up here. 
and it's Rune Glyphberg. Oh, nasty. Look at that water. That's a perfect place for a flip trick. Do this trick while airing across the gap. So we actually are up here, and there's a gap down there to do. Yo, and the way to get to it is by just jumping down that little hole. Good job. Couldn't have done it better. If you don't really know where you're looking, it's hard to find. Maybe that's why they give you two minutes for it. But you see, you're in a very enclosed area here. Hey, I need someone to gather up a bunch of rivets for the guys working on the barges. We look like just the man for the job. This those is guys need those pretty long ASAP. line to take care of. And it can be a little tight with 30 seconds, but we're going to try our best. Here's the thing, I practice these. I try to make sure I'm not going to do terrible. <sighs> and I still do terrible. So could you imagine if I just went into this game after not playing it for a few years, how much worse I would be at this? There we go. Keep it up, I might think you're looking for work. So, like I said, there's a lot of stuff. Everything's really cluttered together. And it causes me to mess up a lot more than I wish it did. Oh, no. Someone's run off with the skate letters. I was supposed to be watching this area. Oh, man. Am I in big trouble if I don't find them soon? Help me out, will ya? Eh, eh. You go straight. Just retry that. <laughs> there isn't too much to say about these things. I gotta get skate again. But I have to do it and not mess up like I really like doing, apparently. at all, apparently. That should do it. I mean, thanks. Guess I kind of owe you now, so uh, I'll let you skate here all you want. Despite all my practice, I'm still struggling quite a bit. And I'm sorry, this is just the kind of game that you get. So let me see what my goals are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do one more, and then we'll call it. I'm 
here to deliver some grub for the welders. They're kind of impatient, but they tip really well. Problem is, those guys are always hanging out in the darndest places, and I'm already late. If you help me out, I'll split the tip with you. Just the tip. I appreciate the gauntlet reference. Boy, that was fast! Hey, you wouldn't mind loaning me your half of the tip. Another stat point, we've maxed out our lip balance, so we'll be set for next time. And jump into the water to celebrate, I guess. So next time we will hopefully finish up the shipyard. So I'll see you guys then.